The 2S35 Koalitsia SV self-propelled artillery system has been developed for the Russian army as a successor to the late Cold Warrior a 2S19 MSTA series vehicle, detailed elsewhere on this site. The 2S35 was debuted during the 2015 Moscow Victory Day Parade and the product has been inching ever closer to full operational service in the inventory of Russian ground forces. Service entry is expected sometime in 2018 or later. The 2S35 was born as an offshoot of the existing 2S19 design and prototypes were devised along this line, utilizing the same running gear, power plant and chassis as the original, though with a slightly altered turret. One form relied on a twin-barreled 152mm arrangement but this approach was not further adopted. The revised design, essentially an all-new offering, was brought online around late 2014 and state trials were had leading to an order for serial production of the vehicles. Outwardly, this armored vehicle relies on a conventional arrangement. The turret superstructure is set over the middle rear of the vehicle hull and fits a powerful 152mm, 152.4mm, 2A88 series main gun. The gun tube is slotted at the muzzle, for some recoil reduction, and features a fume extractor along its length and an integrated recoil mechanism, the latter useful in firing on the move, when the situation requires it. The turret is completely enclosed and sports a machine gun emplacement, remote controlled, along the roof to help defend against low-flying aircraft and infantry assaults. Hatches at the roof line, and along the turret sides, allow for crew access. The hull has two hatches over the front crew positions while the glassy plate is well sloped, nearly horizontal for basic ballistics protection. Over the glassy plate is an A-type locking assembly for securing the long barrel during travel. The running gear includes six rubber-tired road wheels to a hull side, similar to that as seen on the T-90 main battle tank, with the drive sprocket at rear with the track idler at front. The track and road wheel upper sections are minimally protected by thin armor panels, side skirts, with a sawtooth design to them. Smoke grenade discharges are present at the sides and roof edges of the turret to allow the vehicle to self-screen to an extent. Drive power is delivered through a liquid-cooled, diesel-fueled engine developing 1,000 horsepower. An auxiliary system provides power when the vehicle is stationary and the engine shut down. Sources state that the crew complement may number just three personnel due to the heavy level of automation supposedly built into the vehicle's functionality, SBGs typically fit a crew of four or five, such is their complexity. The main gun system provides engagement ranges of target areas out to 70 kilometers. The system also supports the latest in Russian precision-guided projectiles, for increased accuracy at range, as well as older in-service projectile types, like smoke, chemical and nuclear. With an autoloader, it is estimated that the gun can yield a rate of fire near 15 to 20 rounds per minute. A digital suite aids the operators in selecting proper charge levels, ammunition types and in engagement of the firing action. The 2S35 is one of several Russian army vehicles being debuted in the next few years, answering the call of Russian leaders to modernize the service with more advanced post-Soviet era equipment. The T-14 main battle tank leads the way and is followed by several armored vehicle types, both wheeled and tracked, as well as the 2S35 SPG series, 